We're interested in looking at the unemployment statistics once more, so we're going to Excel. Long-term unemployment. If you notice, it brings up Sheet 1 on the stage, so we click on Sheet 1. And we know that the period belongs in the columns, and the unemployment numbers will belong in the rows. So here we have a curved aggregate line of, of the data points. So if, um, actually, why don't we first change the period from year to month. Now we have the month data. So this is a much more, uh, much more information that's communicated here. Now, um, this is interesting, but I want to try something. I want to try shapes. So what we're looking at, we're looking at a aggregated line uh, made up of many different data points. So let's look at those data points. If we turn off aggregation, so we're looking at a granular view of the data. Notice, notice how many more points we have here. It says down here 1708. So what is the relationship between this and this? This data point is ac actually an aggregate data point. So it's made up of uh, two possible genders, seven different age categories, so that's 14. And then when we look at the dates here, we, we're going from 2005 to 2015. So that's actually 122 months that we're looking at here. So when we multiply 2 times 7 times 122, we come up with this number. We come up with 1708. So 1,708 marks in this graph will change when we aggregate. We're aggregating those 14 marks to one mark. So here we have only 122 marks. So it's fascinating. Um, now, let's try something. Let's go back to our granular view. Now let's try let's try pulling a gender into the color. So here here we're seeing the female data points and the men's data points. Let's try to split the graphs up. I think it'll be a little bit cleaner. So we we split the graphs into two separate graphs. And now let's look at uh, the different age groups using color. So here we have 1,708 marks total. But in this one, we have the marks for the seven age groups for the men and the seven different age groups for the women. So now we can recognize the differences in the trends between men and women, the difference in the age groups, and uh, we recognize the differences in the concept of granularity versus aggregation. They're basically different sides of the same coin.